Grace and peace from God our Father, from the Lord Jesus Christ, from the blessed Holy Spirit, who indwells every believer in the Lord Jesus. With deep gratitude, I'm very pleased to thank our ministers, our deacons, our deaconess, our trustees, our auxiliaries, our sheepfolds, and all the members of our church for your commitment to Christ and to this church, for your generosity in sending in tithes and offerings and donations that we might carry on this work. Amen. The Lord has assigned to us, it's called Evergreen Baptist Church. Amen. Evergreen, I'm so thankful to God for each one of you and for all that you're doing. Help us do what God through Christ wants us to do. Thank God for this faithful praise team these faith musicians, technicians, Amen. and these wonderful deacons showing great love to Christ in this church. And certainly at last, but not at all least, my faithful assistant, Reverend Alvin Watford. Amen. It's been now near a year that we've been carrying on in the name of the Lord. Amen. And I thank God for the privilege, for the opportunity to serve such a wonderful congregation of believers that love the Lord and willing to show that love day in and day out. God bless you. Thank God for the faithfulness of these that are with us today, that we might magnify the name of the Lord. I'm going to ask the praise team for a song or a hymn of praise, after which we're going to ask Deacon Richard King uh, if he would read our scripture lesson for today. And then Deacon George Bullock, if he would lead us in prayer which would be followed by another selection from the praise team. Then uh, I want to share with you the message the Lord has placed in my heart for the day. God bless you. God keep you. May this blessing shower upon you every day and in every way. In Jesus' name, amen. amen.
my Lord, my Lord. Thank you, Lord. Good morning, Christian friends. Good morning. Today I will be reading from the book of St. Matthew. That's St. Matthew chapter 14, verses 22 through 33. That's St. Matthew chapter 14, verses 22 through 33. This is a familiar passage of scripture. Do you read along with me? And straightway Jesus constrained his disciples to get into a ship and to go before him unto the other side while he sent the multitude away. And when he had sent the multitude away, he went up into a mountain apart to pray. And when the evening was come, he was there alone. But the ship was now in the midst of the sea, tossed with waves, for the wind was contrary. And in the fourth watch of the night, Jesus went unto them, walking on the sea. And when the disciples saw him walking on the sea, they were troubled, saying, It's a spirit. And they cried out for fear. But straightway Jesus spake unto them, saying, Be of good cheer. It is I. Yes. Be not afraid. And Peter answered him and said, Lord, if it be thou, bid me come unto thee on the water. And he said, come. And Peter was come down out of the ship, and he walked on the water to go to Jesus. But when he saw the wind boisterous, he was afraid. And beginning to sink, he cried out saying, Lord, save me. And immediately, Jesus stretched forth his hand and cut him and said unto him, O thou of little faith, wherefore didst thou doubt? And when they were come into the ship, the wind ceased. Then they that were in the ship came and worshipped him, saying, Of a truth, thou art the Son of God. Amen. May the Amen. Lord add a blessing to the reading and hearing of his word. Amen. God bless you, Deacon. Let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, it's once again that we have gathered in your house. We've come with gratitude in our hearts, dear Lord, thanking you for the many blessings that you've bestowed upon us. We thank you, dear Lord, for the angels that watched over us last night when we slumbered and slept. Thank you, Lord. Those same angels, dear Lord, watched us and kept us through the day. And we are, Lord, in your house where we come just to say thank you. We ask you to join us in this service, dear Lord. We ask you to bless our pastor who's bringing us the word. Speak through him, dear Lord, in a way that we will understand the message. And once we understand the message, dear Lord, help us to go about doing what you would have us to do. Bless Evergreen Baptist Church, dear Lord. Please, Lord. We ask that you keep us working together on the same accord, dear God, to serve your name, to serve the community, and to go about doing the work of the Lord. Bless our members and their families, dear God. Bless the children. In the name of Jesus. Help us, dear Lord, to do what you want us to do. Help us, dear God, to be ambassadors to you, dear Lord, letting the whole world know, our neighbors and everybody, that Jesus lives. We thank you, Lord, for keeping us, for watching over us. Thank we you. ask that you continue to bless our homes, dear God. Bless our wives and our children, dear God. Help us, dear God, to work together 
just, just to keep you in mind in everything that we do. For we know that anything that we do in your name will last your life. So we just thank you for being who you are, for being what you are, and helping us to be the Christians that you want us to be. So bless us, Lord. Keep us. Keep us, dear Lord. We ask you, dear Lord, to bless the musicians that bring us a word of praise week after week, sacrificing your time, dear God, just so that we can enjoy the word, dear Lord. We thank you, dear God, for our pastor and, and, and his dedication to, to Evergreen Baptist Church, to the people around us in our community, and just to the whole world, dear God. He's well known, he's a celebrity, and he was appointed by you. So we thank you for him, dear Lord. We thank you for his wife that has worked beside him. Lord, she, 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 she Lord. probably doesn't thank get all you. the credit that she deserves, but we know, we know who she is. We know what she does, and we know that you know what she does. So we just thank you for it, dear Lord. Just keep us, Jesus, one. Bless the sick and the shut-in. Comfort them, dear Lord, in, in mercy, every Lord. way that, that they need to be. Lord, let them know that you are their Savior, and that even though they are down and feel distressed and forgotten about, you are there for them. So we just thank you, Lord, for what you are. Bless this world that we live in to God. Bless the leaders of the world. Help them to work together to make life better for all of us. We know, dear God, that what we do here on earth will be known in heaven, and one day we're going to be accounted for it. Dear God. So we just ask you to help us to, to do your will while we're here, to love one another, to protect one another, to share with one another that which we have, that which you gave to us, dear God. You didn't give it to us just for us. You gave it to us to help others who, who are less fortunate than we are. Yes, Lord. So we just ask you, dear God, to, 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 to bless those that are homeless, bless those that, that don't know where to turn to. Let them know, dear God, that you are God and they can always turn to you. So we just continue to praise your name, dear Lord. We just continue to thank you for everything that you've done. Each day of our life, dear God, we want to let what we did that day be a blessing to the world. Let it be approved by you, dear God. If anything we do during the day that's not pleasing to you, dear Lord, we ask you that you forgive us for our sins. We know, dear God, that temptation is everywhere. Temptations are on every turn, dear God. Sometimes it looks like that is a better way, but we know that as long as we stay focused on you, that is the right way to go. So we continue to praise your name, dear God. We thank you for this service. We thank you for being able to bring it to people who are not thank able to Lord. attend church, dear God. For we know that the word is the word, whether it's done through streamline, whether it's wherever it's done, dear God. There's only one word, and that's the word of God. So it's in your name that we pray and say thank you, Lord. And hallelujah.
Praise the Lord. Oh, yeah. my soul and all that's within me bless his holy name bless the Lord oh my soul forget not all his benefits certainly we thank God for this praise team the Holy Spirit laid on my heart to contact Deaconess Joyce McCoy and ask her to ask this Get the group of singers sing today. You need Jesus every day. Thank God we have Jesus every day. Thank you so much. I invite your attention and consideration to the Gospel of Matthew, the 14th chapter. The 28th through the 33rd verses, the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 14, verses 28 to 33, we find this record. And Peter answered him and said, Lord, if it be thou, bid me come unto thee on the water. And he said, come. And when Peter was come down out of the ship, he walked on the water to go to Jesus. But when he saw the wind boisterous, he was afraid and began to sink. He cried, saying, Lord, save me. And immediately Jesus stretched forth his hand and caught him and said unto him, O thou of little faith. Wherefore didst thou doubt? When they were come into the ship, the wind ceased. Then they that were in the ship came and worshipped him, saying of a truth, thou art the Son of God. Won't you notice in particular verse 30? But when he saw the wind boisterous, he was afraid and began to sink. He cried, saying, Lord, save me. Yes. A desperate cry for help. Yes. A desperate cry for help. My brothers and sisters, the Bible says in Acts 10, 38, God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power who went about doing good and healing all that were oppressed of the devil, for God was with him. The word of God reveals, in the coast of Tyre and Sidon, a woman of Canaan cried unto Jesus, saying, Have mercy on me, O Lord, thou son of David. My daughter is grievously vexed with a devil. The record is Jesus did not respond to her. The disciples said unto the Lord, send her away. For she crieth after us, 
Then said Jesus, I am not sent but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Matthew 15, 25 tells us a woman came and worshiped him and saying, Lord, help me. Jesus said, it is not meat to give the children bread and to cast it to the dogs. The woman said, truth, Lord. Yet the dogs eat of the crumbs which fall from their master's table. The woman's word touched the heart of the Lord Jesus. Her faith was unwavering. Oh, what a blessing to have unwavering faith. Yes. Then Jesus said to her, O woman, great is thy faith. Be it unto thee even as thy wilt. And her daughter was made whole from that very hour. All right, all right. This woman's cry for help was based on faith in the Son of God. Yeah. It brought healing and deliverance to her daughter. She did not bring her daughter to Jesus, but she brought the problems her daughter was living with to the Lord of life. Thank God, sometimes you may not be able, and I may not be able to bring the person to the house of God, but we can bring the problems the person living with. And we can tell Jesus about it. And he's a God that makes a difference. Notice the scriptures declare Jesus took Peter, James, and John up into a high mountain yes. and was transfigured before them. Yes. His raiment became shining, exceeding white as snow. Yes. There appeared Moses and Elijah. Yes. And they were talking with Jesus. Can you imagine what kind of conversation that was? Yes. 1,500 years had passed since Moses died in the land of Moab. 900 years had passed since Elijah had gone to heaven in a whirlwind. Peter got excited. Oh, I don't know how you feel about it, but I love to get excited about Jesus. Just being in the presence of Jesus makes a difference. Peter said, Master, it is good for us to be here. Let us make three tabernacles. One for thee, one for Moses, and one for Elijah. Mark 9, 8 informs us as a cloud overshadowed them. And a voice came out of the cloud saying, this is my beloved son. Yes. Hear him. Now, when Jesus, Peter, James, and John came down from the mountain, a multitude was with Jesus' disciples. The scribes were asking the disciples a question. Jesus asked the scribes, why are you asking them questions? Man in the multitude said, Master, uh, I brought unto thee my son, which had a dumb spirit. The man described uh, his son's uh, problem. Uh, the spirit teareth him and foameth, and he gathered with his seat and pineth away. I spoke to thy disciples that they should cast him out, and they could not. Jesus said, Oh, faithless generation. How long shall I be with you? How long shall I suffer you? Bring him to me. Yes, we brought the young person to Jesus. The spirit caused a boy to have a seizure. He fell on the ground and wallowed, foamed at the mouth. The Lord Jesus asked the father, how long ago since this came upon him? And he said, of a child. Father said, oft times he hath cast him into the fire and into the waters and, and, and to destroy him. But if thou canst do anything, have compassion on us and help us. Jesus said, if thou canst believe, all things are possible to him that believeth. In Mark 9, 24, we find the following words, and straightway the father of the child cried out and said, with tears, Lord, I believe. Help thou my unbelief. Yes, yes. Jesus said, thou dumb and deaf spirit, I, I charge thee. Yeah. Come out of him. And enter no more into him. The spirit came out of him. My brothers and sisters, uh, the devil liked to uh, wreck lives. He, 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 he loves to uh, attack families. Uh, thank God for Jesus. 
the devil is no match for Jesus. And thank God uh, we know who to call on yes. when trouble comes. We know who to call on when the going gets rough. Yes. We know who to call on when the storms are raging. Yes. We call Jesus. Yes. Another occasion, Jesus was near the city of Jericho. A certain blind man sat by the wayside begging. Uh -huh. He heard the multitude passing by. He asked, what's going on? <laughs> and they said, told him uh, that Jesus of Nazareth yeah. passeth by. Yeah. Luke 18, 38 reveals the blind man's words. He cried saying, Jesus, thou son of David, yeah. have mercy on me. Some of the people rebuked him uh, that he should hold his peace, but he cried so much the more. Thy son of David, have mercy on me. Yeah. Jesus stood and, and commanded them that bring the blind man unto him. When the blind man was near the Lord Jesus, he was asked, what wilt thou that I should do unto thee? He said, Lord, that I might receive my sight. Jesus said to him, receive thy sight. Thy faith hath saved thee. Immediately he received his sight and followed Jesus glorifying God. And all the people when they saw it gave praises unto God. My brothers and sisters, when the Lord blesses us, we should thank him. When the Lord heals us, we should praise him. When the Lord brings us out, we ought to tell somebody about the goodness of the Lord. That I, I was sick, but he healed me. I had troubles and the Lord brought me out. The devil tried to get me down, but Jesus stepped in just in time to bless my life. The scripture I have selected today presents Simon Peter in a desperate situation. This event occurred after Jesus and his disciples had served a multitude in a desert place. Multitude came to be blessed and helped by the Lord. I, I, I thank God I, I come to church to be blessed. I come to church to be inspired. I, I come to church to be edified. I come to church to worship the God of my salvation. I come to praise his name. I come to rejoice because of his goodness. Because the Lord has brought me a, a mighty long way. Do I have a witness here? That the Lord has brought you. A mighty long way. Wasn't your education, wasn't your family, wasn't your job, but the Lord Jesus brought you a mighty long way. You see, the news of Jesus' ministry, message, and miracles has spread far and near in Palestine. People by the thousands came to Jesus to be healed and delivered. On the day before the text, Jesus and his disciples were in a desert place. Jesus was preaching and teaching in this desert place. Yeah. And the people were being blessed. Yeah. The Bible said the people followed Jesus on foot out of the cities. Yes. The record is the Lord was moved with compassion and healed their sick. Anybody here know the Lord is a healer? Yes. I'm a living witness. The Lord is a healer. Yes. After spending the day with the Lord of life, yes. the people were hungry and tired. Yes. The disciples came to the mouth in the evening saying, this is, is a desert place. And, and the time is now past. Send the multitude away. And they may go into the villages and buy food. But Jesus said, they need not depart. Yeah. You know, I want to just remind you, Jesus has all you need. Yeah. No one has to leave Jesus to be blessed. No one has to leave Jesus to be helped. He has all we need. And the Bible said, my God shall supply all your needs. Call the riches to glory by Christ Jesus. Oh, the master was in that desert place and the time was now past. And the multitude was hungry and tired. But Jesus said, they need not depart. Give ye them to eat. They said, we have but five loaves and two fishes. The Lord said, bring them to me. Right, oh, in their hands, it was just a, a, basically a lunch. Yes. Five loaves and two fishes. Sir. But in Jesus' hand, yes, there was a feast for thousands. Yes. 
Oh, things in his hand makes a difference. His hands are eternal. His hands are providing. His hands are protecting. His hands are all around us. Thank God for the hands of Jesus. Jesus took the five loaves and two fishes. He looked up to heaven in prayer. He blessed and broke the bread. The disciples then gave the food to the people. They ate and were filled. Oh, thank Jesus. Fed 5,000 men beside women and children. Uh, there were prayer baskets of fragments gathered after all the people had eaten uh, and was full. Can you imagine how that meal tastes? Yeah. That the creator of the universe, yeah. the Lord of glory, yeah. uh, had, had prepared the meal and had multiplied. Yeah. Oh, and I tell you, if you're going through some hard time, ask the Lord uh, to help you. Ask him to multiply what you have, Lord. Lord, I don't have much. And I don't have as much as I want, much as I need, but I'm praying that you multiply. Yeah. I need you yeah. to multiply yes. what I have. He's able. Yes, he is. With 12 baskets of fragments gathered. Yes. Yes. After all the people had eaten and it was full. Yes. Then Jesus constrained his disciples to get into a ship and to go before him to the other side. When his, uh, he had sent the multitude away, he went up into a mountain to pray. It's a blessing to pray every day. Yes. Yes. I was telling uh, one of our members that uh, I, on, on the telephone line, I don't pray a long prayer. Yes. Because I want other people to pray too. But uh, when the going gets rough, yes, sir. Yes, sir. when the chips are down, yes, when the devil tried to pull the rug out from on my life, I come to the study. Uh, I go to my secret closet and I bow down and call on the Lord. And I talk to him as long as I want to. Tell him all about my troubles. And tell him about your troubles. And tell him about America's trouble. Tell him about the world's trouble. For we need Jesus to take care of the situation. So, when they sent the multitude away, he went up into a mountain to pray. The Lord answers prayer. The ship, the disciples were traveling in, met with a windstorm. The ship was tossed with waves because the wind was contrary. In the fourth watch of the night, Jesus went to them walking on the sea. Oh, uh, they, they needed Jesus. They was in a terrible storm, and the Lord showed up. I'm a living witness. In a storm, Jesus has a history of showing up yes. in a sick room, yes, sir. in a courtroom, yes, sir. in a classroom. He has a history of showing up, yes. making a difference. The disciples saw him walking on the sea and they thought they were seeing a ghost. Some translate it a spirit, but others say a ghost. But Jesus spoke saying, be of good cheer. It is I. Yes. Be not afraid. Yes, yes. Peter said, Lord, if that be thou, bid me come to thee on the water. Now, we don't know why he wanted to do that. Uh -huh. I tell you, the older I get, I'm careful what I ask the Lord for. Because he might just give it to me. And then I might not be able to handle it. So I, I, I'm careful. And then when I asked him, I said, Lord, if it's your will, Bless me to do this. Jesus had come. Peter came down out of the ship and he walked on the water yes. to go to Jesus. The contrary wind was blowing and the waves were dashing high. Uh -huh. Peter saw the wind boisterous. He was afraid. Uh -huh. Now Peter and his fishing boat had worked on these waters many years. Uh -huh. But there was a great difference between yeah. working in a boat on the water and walking on the water. So Peter was afraid and beginning to sink. The word of God said he cried. Lord save me. He didn't, he didn't just say Lord save me. He didn't say very casually. This man was in a life threatening situation. And I believe he screamed out. Real loud. Lord save me. I knew I would have. I wouldn't have talked under my breath. I wanted to make sure the Lord had heard me and and, and, and the Lord saved him. He did not call James or John or his brother Andrew. 
Peter called Jesus for help. In the, in the midst of this pandemic, in the midst of this crisis in America and the world, in the midst of the problems we're having in Texas and in Jackson, Mississippi, in the midst of so many homes uh, where there's sorrow and, and no employment and people can't pay their rent and their mortgage and people are out of work, uh, it's time to call Jesus. We need more than calling the politicians. We need more than calling the bidder. We need to call Jesus. Somebody right there, Jesus is on the main line. Tell him what you want. Whatever you need, tell him about it. Just tell Jesus. Tell him all. Cry is great. Cry is small. Oh, so Peter was afraid and began to sink. But he called the right person. He didn't call his brother Andrew. Andrew. He was probably in the boat. He didn't call James and John. They was a part of the, the inner circle. But he called. He was a, a desperate cry for help. It was a, a, a cry that got results. The, the situation was dangerous and life threatening. Peter called Jesus for help. Immediately, Jesus stretched forth his hand and caught him. And, and the Lord said, O thou of little faith. Wherefore? Did thou doubt? And they that was in the ship, and once they got in there, the wind ceased. Then that they were in the ship came and worshipped him, saying, Of a truth, thou art the Son of God. First time Jesus calmed the storm by saying, Peace be still, they said, What manner of man is this? Even the wind and waters obey him. But now, truly, thou art the Son of God. My brothers and sisters, some things. Only Jesus can do for us. Some problems in our lives only Jesus can solve. Some needs only Jesus can supply. Jesus has a history of responding to the cries of his people. I don't know your circumstances, but I know Jesus can master everything all the time. I believe some of us have been through some storms. Yes, yes. Physical storms yes. have been in my life. Yes, there are financial storms yes, that we struggle with from time to time. Yes, there are mental storms of discouragement. Yes, Every now and then, I ask myself, why should I feel discouraged? Why should the shadows come? Why should my heart be lonely? And long for heaven and home. When Jesus is my portion. A constant friend is he. And his eye is on the sparrow. And I know he's watching me. Jesus can bring about a change in a moment. Immediately. He can bring about a change. Even on the cross at Calvary. Jesus heard the cry of repentant sinner. In a dying hour, a dying sleep, yeah. said to the Lord of glory, Lord, when thou comest into thy kingdom, yeah. remember me. Yeah. Jesus said, verily I say unto thee, yeah. today thou shalt be with me in paradise. Yeah. Jesus died on the cross. Yeah. Thank God he died that Black Friday. Yeah. He died voluntarily. Yeah. No man took his life. He had power to lay it down and power to take it up again. He died sacrificially because he died for us. He died painfully on that skull-shaped hill. He died shamefully between two thieves and was buried in a barry grave. But Sunday morning, God raised him up. Early, early, early Sunday morning. God raised him up. I stopped by to remind everybody a long time ago. I cried unto the Lord and he delivered me from the penalty of sin. And on my journey, the Lord has brought me every step of the way. It haven't been easy all the time. I've been through the storms. I've been sometimes up and sometimes down. Sometimes almost to the ground. For the Lord has been there in every storm. I've seen the lightning flashing. 
I heard the thunders roll. I've seen the sin breakers dashing, trying to conquer my soul. But I heard, I heard, I heard the voice of Jesus telling me still fight on. He promised never to leave me. Never, never, never to leave me alone. I'm so glad he can calm the storm. I'm so glad he's a caring Christ. I'm so glad he's a way maker. I want to ask you, is he all right? If you're all right, have you tried him? Do you love him? Will you praise him? Come and say yes, yes, yes. Thank you, Lord. A desperate, a desperate cry. For help. I don't know about you, but I've yes. cried many times. Yes. And the Lord has helped me. Yes. I cried in the open doors that were closed in my face. Yes, I cried and they made ways out of no way. Right. I cried and they yes. provided for me. Yes. There may be someone who heard this message today that has never accepted Jesus Christ in your heart and in your life. You. I would encourage you, you make a desperate cry even now, Lord Jesus. Save my soul. I am a sinner. I want to be saved. I want my sins forgiven. I want to be a part of God's family. I want to go to heaven when I die. Forgive my sins. Come to my heart and save my soul. If you ask him, he'll do it. He's the savior. He's the redeemer. He's the deliverer. He'll provide salvation and eternal life. Do we have one? Would you come? If you're watching us electronically, just where you are, you can ask the Lord to save you. Only Jesus can save you we have done as the Lord command us to do Amen. yet there is room if Israel is not saved yes. Jacob won't lose his yes. reward yes. I'm going to ask Reverend Wapper to come and dismiss us in his own way and may God bless each of you and all of you in the name of the Father and of the Son and the Holy Spirit we're coming down for communion Thank God for the shed blood of Jesus. Without the shedding of blood, there's no remission. Thank God the Lord has told us in his word to examine ourselves. And I've said it once and I'll say it again. It doesn't take long. Just ask the Lord, forgive me of my sins. If I've done something I shouldn't have done, or said something I shouldn't have said, if I've neglected to do what I should have done, if I have thought the wrong thoughts, forgive me. Prepare my heart, my mind, my body, my soul to receive the body and blood of Christ. We're coming down now for communion.
taught in the scripture on the night our master was betrayed he took bread broke and blessed it saying take eat for this is my body which is broken for you he likewise took the cup and after he given thanks he gave it to them saying drink ye all of it for this is my blood of the new testament which was shed for many for the mission of sin. You pray for us. Father, we thank you again. Thank you, Lord, for this community time. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for the blessings of the word of God. And Father, we have done this in remembrance of you because you said so in your word. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 We're taught in the scripture when the supper was over, they sang a hymn and went out. Let us stand and sing one verse of Jesus, keep me near the cross. <laughs> 